Mickey Mouse, the Handy Helper. Chapter One, A New Day, A New Challenge. Mickey Mouse was always ready for a new challenge, especially in his role as the Handy Helper of Toontown. Today was no different. As the sun rose and cast a warm glow over his cozy house, Mickey hopped out of bed, eager to start his day. He quickly dressed in his signature engineer outfit, bright red overalls, a snug fit over his blue-green t-shirt. He adjusted his yellow hard hat, ensuring it sat perfectly on his head, providing the necessary protection the day ahead. His yellow gloves slid onto his hands with ease, matching his yellow boots that had orange soles, adding a pop of color with every step he took. Mickey was ready for anything. As he stepped into his house, he was greeted by his friends, Donald Duck and Goofy. They admired Mickey's outfit, knowing that when Mickey wore his engineer gear, something exciting was bound to happen. Hey, Mickey, what's on the agenda today? Donald quacked enthusiastically. Well, pals, I've heard that the Toontown Clock Tower has been acting up. I reckon it needs some of my handy work to get it back in tip-top shape, Mickey replied with a determined grin. Rusty toolbox in hand, Mickey led his friends towards the clock tower. Along the way, they encountered several Toontown residents who waved and cheered, grateful for Mickey's willingness to help at a moment's notice. Chapter 2, The Clock Tower Conundrum as they approached the clock tower, the trio noticed a small crowd gathered around with concerned expressions. The tower's hands were stuck at 12, and its chimes were eerily silent. Mickey assessed the situation, his keen eyes spotting the problem almost immediately. Looks like the gears are jammed. We'll need to get inside and see what's causing the trouble, Mickey declared. With Donald and Goofy's help, Mickey set up a ladder against the tower. He climbed up swiftly, his yellow boots making a reassuring clink against the metal rungs. Once inside the tower, Mickey marveled at the intricate network of gears and cogs, all designed to keep the clock running smoothly. Mickey got to work, using his tools to carefully examine each part of the mechanism. He found the culprit, a small piece of debris lodged between two gears. With a gentle tug, he removed it, allowing the gears to move freely once more. Outside, the crowd watched with bated breath. Suddenly, the clock hands began to move, and the tower let out a melodious chime. Cheers erupted from the crowd as Mickey descended the ladder, his face beaming with pride. Another job well done, Mickey, Goofy exclaimed, patting his friend on the back. Chapter 3, A Helping Hand News of Mickey's successful repair spread quickly throughout Toontown, and soon, requests for his help came pouring in. From fixing leaky pipes to repairing broken fences, Mickey took on each task with the same enthusiasm and dedication. One day, Minnie Mouse approached Mickey with a special request. The children's playground had seen better days, and it needed some serious repairs. Mickey knew this would be a big project, but he was up for the challenge. With Minnie's help, Mickey and his friends gathered supplies and set to work. Mickey led the team, his engineering skills shining through as he directed the repairs. They replaced old swings, fixed broken slides, and even built a new sandbox for the children to enjoy. As they worked, the children of Toontown watched in awe, excitedly anticipating the grand reveal of their new playground. Mickey's heart swelled with joy as he saw the smiles on their faces. Finally, the day came to unveil the newly renovated playground. The children cheered as Mickey cut the ribbon, and they rushed in to explore their new play area. Minnie gave Mickey a grateful hug, thanking him for his hard work and dedication. Chapter 4. A Rewarding Surprise One evening, after a long day of helping his friends and neighbors, Mickey returned home to find a surprise waiting for him. The entire town had gathered in his yard, and they had prepared a special celebration to honor Mickey's tireless efforts. Banners and balloons decorated the area, and a large sign read, Thank you, Mickey, our handy helper. Mickey's heart warmed as he realized how much his work meant to everyone in Toontown. Mayor Clarabelle Cow stepped forward with a smile. Mickey, on behalf of everyone in Toontown, we want to thank you for all that you do. Your kindness and skill have made our town a better place, and we're so grateful to have you as our handy helper. The crowd erupted in applause as Mickey took a bow, feeling a deep sense of fulfillment. He knew that no matter what challenges came his way, he would always be ready to lend a helping hand. As the celebration continued, Mickey looked around at his friends and neighbors, 
feeling a strong sense of community and belonging. He was proud to be Toontown's handy helper, and he knew that together they could overcome any obstacle. Mickey Mouse, in his red overalls, yellow hard hat, yellow gloves, and yellow boots with orange soles, was more than just an engineer. He was a hero to everyone in Toontown.